Hello Aries. Uh, welcome. Welcome back. This is your um, monthly general reading for the month April 2021. Um, okay, so I have laid out the cards for you and we're ready to start reading. I'll just let you know that the deck that we're using is the Vox Arcana. There's a review of this if you're interested. And then the energy that we have brought in from your yearly uh, reading. And it's uh, with this deck, the Light Shears Tarot. There's a review of this if you're interested as well. So you can go to my playlist and check it out. Then, uh, the yearly readings that I have done for you for the sign of Aries includes these three cards. So that's the season of spring. If you don't know what I'm referring to, go to the playlist. It's under uh, yearly reading Aries 2021, year 2021. Um, there's no other ones. <laughs> I don't have the 2022. Maybe I should be doing them. But anyways, so what I have done here is I have pulled in the energy from your general yearly reading so that we understand what is happening and what is um, how uh, there is a progression in your life with the energies, the current energies at work. So this is uh, March. If you haven't watched the March uh, reading, the general, go watch that. And there's a love reading and there's an upcoming love reading for April. So this is the general energy of the March reading, uh, April and May. So this is what we're seeing right now, what we're going to be seeing throughout the whole month uh, for you. And this is expressed as a general energy. So imagine that we have the energy up here and then it spreads out. So this is the background noise where this is whatever is happening will be based on this. So imagine that you have a range of energy that you cannot get outside of that, of so that will be it. And that's a background noise. So it pulls you back every single time. And then that's the general uh, energy as we did it last month. And that's we're going to be doing it if it seems uh, that it's working for you. We can change things around. So if, if there's something that you want to let me know, write in the comments below. And I will uh, make the changes um, that match, you know, uh, your um, with your feedback. All right. So what we have here is that we had in March, and probably because you're uh, you're watching this as we're getting out of March, maybe in April. So you already have noticed the energy, which uh, was a little bit slow. All right. So there was a lot of uh, inner uh, thinking, a lot of things that uh, you have done for yourself. Right. So you have taken the time to explore, evaluate, and you're coming in into April with this energy. So this energy of air, the eight of wands is, is spinning up. So you're taking whatever you have created in March and you're trying to make things work right now. Now, the energy that you're coming out going into May is a different kind of energy um, that you have too much of the eight of wands. So too much energy. And we see that happening throughout your cards here. So you have your ups and downs. Um, the point is throughout the month to have a smooth energy. So you don't want the ups and downs like the peaks and the troughs, like going up and down, up and down. You want a smooth energy that you're building up and you're understanding what is happening. So you're evaluating throughout the process. We don't see that happening here. And we need to find a way to make this uh, work for you because there's a lot of um, things that are coming up that you don't have to deal with. You could avoid all that. Anyways. So the general energy, there is uh, a lot of communication. There's a lot of things happening. There's um, messages going back and forth. So you will see that there's things happening, but they're not really happening. So you're wasting your time. You're wasting your time. You're spending a lot of time sending back and forth emails, let's say because you want to um, get a, john, a, a job done, but the job is not getting done. Do you understand the difference? The, the movement doesn't necessarily mean execution and bringing results. And that is what we're saying here. So the general energy is that you're a little bit exhausted out of all this communication that you have set your ground in a past month. Now we see that you have a once entering the month with once. So it, it is an energy, an energy that is built out of your dreams, desires, your inspirations and everything that you want to do and accomplish in life for this uh, beginning month. However, we see that you're already a little bit tired. So you will feel this month that you're putting in all this energy, but things are not coming into fruition. Like things are not happening for you because you're tired. So that tells us that you need to take the time and pull back a little bit and don't force things and slow down on your communication and slow down in certain areas of your life because you're kind of trapping yourself into um, 
into whatever you have created. So you, you have created this situation. It's not that it was created. So it's not outside of uh, forces. It is you not bringing the proper mental thinking and emotional um, balance to make things happen. So you're kind of exhausted throughout the month and you will be feeling that. So if you come back and rewatch this, um, you, you'll be okay. I understand now what she's saying because I feel like that. So take your time. Don't push things and don't take everything on you. Like I'll do this and I'll do that and I'll do that. Okay, it's okay. I will, you know, bring everything here. No, just, you know, delegate. <laughs> All right, so when we're going into the love, we see that you kind of hold the same energy from last month. This energy seems to be, um, uh, now the difference is because I remember you had the two of swords up here as well from past month. So you're still in the in the position that you don't want to uh, proceed and make any, um, um, take any decisions to proceed in your loves, in your love affairs. But we'll see that in the general reading for April. For now, what is happening here is you're trying to hold on to whatever you didn't work on last month that have created you, um, uh, have created a lot of insecurities and you don't feel as confident as before. So now you're trying to pull back the energy and um, create a situation, although that you don't want to have a mo forward movement. So you're not uh, evolving in the relationship, but you're holding it kind of a back, but you want to hold on to it. So that's a good thing. Now, going into your career and work, we see because I said that you're putting a lot of effort here and there's a lot of communication uh, going back and forth, even with your love and relationships, you do have that back and forth. So you're trying to hold on, bring people back into your life or keep them there with a lot of communication, with a lot of effort, but without any progression. So you're not taking something, building on it. You're just taking something, holding on to it. So that is exactly what we're saying here, that you have, you feel that you're in a situation that you cannot get out, that you're trying and trying and things are not progressing, that you're trying to find your balance. You feel that other people don't understand you. So when it comes to your career, maybe because you have this part coming in from past month, um, you could use that. So because you're um, pulling back kind of a situation and feeling that you're trapped in your own a skin, use your skin to grow out of there uh, new ideas because you do have that desire within. So if you take advantage of that time, then you will turn the situation around. It's not an unpleasant situation. It's just you have all this move, all this non movement, all this communication without the progression. And that's kind of a frustrating. And that's why you will, um, what will happen, you will feel pulling back because you just don't understand how you're putting all this effort without any. Uh, rewards. Now, when it comes to your money and your wealth, what we're seeing here, it is uh, you being in a situation that you feel good with yourself. This is a situation where you could come up with a new um, signing, um, what is it called, uh, contracts, uh, corporations, getting a new job. Uh, that's more with a career, but we're seeing the, the propositions coming in in your money. So that means that there's more things in your career or in your finances that they're coming in from different directions. So you might be doing um, two jobs or there might be another project at work or a, an extra bonus that you're working on. There's extra things happening here. Now, you don't get a lot of um, people uh, helping out. So it is kind of an um, individual um, effort that you're putting in. And that makes you feel that you don't have uh, the ground to work on things. Uh, however, when it comes to your finances, you will be at a good um, position. So you're at a place, where, but you see, the thing is with you right now is that you don't want to spend, you want to earn because you feel that over here, there's a situation happening that you feel that things are not progressing and you're kind of scared of how things will be next month. So you're trying to hold on here. Uh, you need to let go of that energy because you're holding on being very, um, defending your ground here and then you're holding on there and then you're kind of uh, pulling back your energy so there's no progression you're not helping it even even if if you had this the energetical space you're still not helping all right so then we're going into the outcome of the month and this is the outcome so the energy coming in and out that will get you into the next month which is may now for me we see that um there is uh, some things that we would have to talk about in May and see what you have done up to that point because it's up to you how you're going to handle your um, your energy. 
you can get out of this um, situation, but we will talk about it then. Now, for now, the outcome that we have here, we see that you're coming in with this energy of uh, the, the, the spark, the desire that you have, and you have it throughout. But what is happening, you see that you're, you're pulling back, you're making things... Um, um, it's not that you're spreading, spreading out all this energy that you have and all this desire. It's kind of like you're holding it back and holding it within. So it's kind of a burning you. It's a burning desire that you have within. So what would happen is you're going to be a little bit more emotional and you're going to try um, to pull back and maybe rethink of how you can um, make things work. And if not, maybe change situations or get out of situations. That, that will be a little bit of a, an uncomfortable um part um, from you but I think you can work on it because you're telling us that you will use that to your own advantage now the thing is do not overuse it so get in get out you know don't don't stay there trying to figure out things and over analyzing because things are not going to work out for you like that so overall what I'm seeing here is that you need to um Take all the energy that you have, use the communication for your own benefit. We will see how that translates uh, for April when it comes to love, because I'm going to do a love reading for you. And I'm going to have a bonus uh, reading um, throughout, uh, I think it's the beginning of the month that I'm going to be out uploading it. So watch out for that as well. Uh, all right. So the overall energy as we see it is you need to um, work on the communication that you have here. Try to bring in people, not to hold, make them, um, don't hold on to them, but make them come back and work with you. Come back, not as breaking up and coming back, but more as um, inviting people, see, propose things, invite people, uh, show them your ideas, um, create things with them, be outgoing, share your wealth, share your ideas, your, your um, go, good fortune, um, get outside and do things. And don't try to do everything by yourself. That is another thing. So uh, set your ground and work on that. And I think that that was about it. That was your uh, reading for the general reading for um, April 2021. Um, I'll be coming with May. Come back to see that. Thank you. That was lovely. Thank you. Bye-bye. I love you.